Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Today I thought we'd take a detailed look at how strong a two-time Mr. Olympia, Franco Colombo was, especially when factoring in his body weight compared with the powerlifting world records of that era and as of today, as well as his performance at the world's strongest man. Franco Colombo was born on the 7th of August 1941 on the island of Sardinia in Italy. He was the son of shepherds and would get bullied at school, which motivated him to start boxing at which point the bullying stopped. Franco won over 30 fights as a boxer before quitting the sport in the early 1960s to focus on his real passion of weightlifting and bodybuilding. Although there's no official record of Franco's weightlifting career, he claimed to press 147 kilograms, snatch 122, and clean and jerk 181, which would give him a total of 451 kilograms, or 995 pounds. But these numbers seem pretty implausible, considering that the world record in Franco's weight class was 445 kilograms, or 981 pounds, and that was set at the 1964 Olympics. Franco competed in his first powerlifting competition in 1965, at a body weight of 70 kilograms or 154 pounds. Later that year, he would first meet and become friends with Arnold Schwarzenegger, while competing at a bodybuilding competition in Stuttgart, Germany. Franco continued to compete in powerlifting competitions until 1968, when he would move to California to work with Arnold and Joe Weider. To assess Franco's strength, we will look through his best numbers in the three main lifts, starting with the squat. Franco's best verified squat was achieved in the 1968 German Championships, where he smashed a German record with a lift of 230 kilograms, or 507 pounds. Over the next few years, he competed and won numerous bodybuilding competitions, including Mr. Europe, Mr. Universe, Mr. World, and finally the Mr. Olympia and during this time he packed on an additional 30 pounds of muscle onto his 5 foot 5 inch frame. Franco would later claim a best squat of 297 kilograms or 655 pounds, and although we don't know the exact time frame, we can assume this was done prior to the inaugural World Strongest Man in 1977, when he suffered an injury during the refrigerator carry that was later diagnosed as a dislocated knee for which he is thought to have won compensation of a million dollars. Although it isn't known if this squat was done raw or with wraps, if Franco was able to squat 297 kilograms in 1975, it would comfortably be an all-time record in the 181 pound weight class. And even today, a 655 pound raw squat would be the 19th highest of all time. Next we look at a bench press, and Franco's best verified bench press was again set at the 1968 German Championships, where he set a German record in his weight class of 184 kilograms or 405 pounds. Years later, Franco would claim to have a best bench press of 238 kilograms or 525 pounds. Although it is again not known when he achieved this, he can be seen here in 1972, comfortably pressing a verified weight of 405 pounds for multiple repetitions. If Franco's claims of being able to bench press 238 kilograms or 525 pounds can be believed, it would again be an all-time bench press world record in 1975. In fact, it would still narrowly be an all-time bench press world record within that weight class as of today. Finally, we look at Franco's deadlift, in which he had a best verified lift of 310 kilograms or 683 pounds, that he achieved in an exhibition at the 1969 Mr. Europe bodybuilding competition. He later claimed a best of 750 pounds, which seems realistic considering he can be seen here pulling 700 pounds for three repetitions without a belt. From the information I'm able to find, this would have easily been an all-time world record in 1975 in the 181-pound weight class, that would have lasted until Dmitry Nazanov pulled 171 pounds in 2016. But even today, Franco's best claimed lift would have been the seventh highest deadlift of all time within his weight class. 
Next, we look at what Franco may have been able to achieve as a total. So if we are to assume that always lifts are genuine and deduct 5% on the bench press and deadlift to allow for fatigue, that would give Franco a theoretical powerlifting total of 846.4kg or £1,866, which would have destroyed the all-time total world record in 1975, and even today would be the fifth highest raw total of all time in the 181 pound weight class. Next we take a very brief look at Franco's performance at the inaugural World's Strongest Man, where in 1977 he was at least 5 inches shorter and 50 pounds lighter than the next smallest competitor, and 8 inches shorter and 135 pounds lighter than the winner Bruce Wilhelm. In fact, Franco is the shortest and lightest competitor in the history of the competition. The scoring system used at the inaugural World's Strongest Man was very strange, in that they only awarded points to the first four places out of the eight competitors, and those points were staggered in a way that gave the winner of each event a disproportionate advantage, and meant that finishing outside the top four places in any event made it very difficult to make a comeback. The other issue was that many of the 10 events provided a huge advantage to the taller and heavier athletes, including the wheelbarrow race, tyre toss, trample and tug of war. If the competition contained events to a purely a measure of strength, such as the barrel lift, bar bend, wrist roll, car deadlift and squat, and awarded the points in a proportionate manner, given Franco's consistency throughout the competition, it's highly likely that he would have been the 1977 World's Strongest Man. That brings me towards the end of the video, but it'd be great to hear your opinion, so please leave a comment below letting me know if you believe that Franco was pound for pound the world's strongest man of his era. I've left social media links and credits in the description below, so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could help support my channel by hitting like, sharing the video, and subscribing. Thank you.